Hello, I want to share with you a true story of my heroine's choice. Once upon a time, in the year of 1986, in the small village of Kaleran, Southeast Asia, there lived a young girl. Her name was Esperanza. The problem was, her siblings were so mean to her. It made her feel so sad, she didn't feel her their love. One beautiful afternoon, while she was riding a carabao after school to have a great time, when her, friend, when her friend asked her if she wants to have a ride, then suddenly, she saw her big brothers running towards her. One of them said, go back to the house and get the rope, let's find her. So, before her older brothers could get the rope, she jumped off the carabao and ran away as fast as she could. Even the neighbor's, go do <coughs> Even the neighbor's dog cannot catch up to her. She told her mom that she had to run away. Her mom was sad because she loved her. She went through the Polog city and found the two elders, Elder, Mich and Elder Mirel and Elder Terramoto from Utah. Esperanza felt God's love through the missionaries for the first time in her life. When the missionaries told her that Jesus loves her very much and wants her to be happy, the spirit was so strong and she felt joy. John 3.16 is her favorite verse in the Holy Bible. She learned a greater understanding and a new beautiful me meaning of that verse. She was happy that the missionaries did share with her that scripture that she learned from her, from her mom at a very young age. It helped her gain a relationship of trust with him as they built a common belief about Jesus Christ. After a, lot, a lot, after a lot of reading, pondering, and praying, she finally got baptized and became a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It was, a very, it was a very sweet feeling she had for the first time of her life that she would cherish forever. Her very special day when she was 15 years old, the day she made a, a sacred covenant with the Lord. Her choices in life to be baptized and to serve on her full-time mission blessed her family and friends. She was the pioneer of her village, and her temple marriage blessed her life and, with, with, and, her, <coughs> and, the temp, and, the, and her temple mess, marriage blessed her life and her posterity for all eternity. Another heroic choice she made was when the doctor told her to terminate her pregnancy because her baby will not have a good quality of life, because that baby had, well, would have a brain defect and would not be able to walk. But she chose to give her baby a second chance. She asked, she asked for a priesthood blessing from the missionaries. The baby was born in perfect, and, and so the baby was born in perfect health. He grew handsome and smart, and they lived happily ever after. All that I am or have ever hoped to be, I owe to my heroine mother. I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye. Bye.